okay guys so i welcome you back to this session in this session i am going to elaborate two very important numbers in any of the unix based or you can say linux type of systems the very first number as i have already reflected on the screen that is the file descriptor why i am going to elaborate this file descriptor because in experiment 3 you will be using system calls related to file systems so those system call will deal with the files and those files need to be identified by the system so system identifies files by using two numbers one is the file descriptor another is the inode number right so let's understand what is file descriptor and what is inode number and how these two things are different so as i have written on the screen file descriptor is a non negative number it, it does not get any negative value so when we use open system call so open system call returns a file descriptor right i have already told you so you pass some argument let's say two three argument here and it will return a file descriptor so let's say i say fd in case open system call doesn't work fine there is an error then it will return minus 1 otherwise in case it is working fine and it, it successfully executing then it will return non negative number okay so that is one important thing next thing is uh, as i told you file descriptors are used to identify the files in unix like or you can say linux based systems but the highlight here is which you need to remember file descriptors are allocated to open files only so what is the meaning of open file you can easily understand in file system there are n number of files we create so let's say you are creating a file and you are writing some data or maybe a file is stored now if this file is stored or created inside a file system this file must be having some identity some attributes some information about the file like who is the owner of the file on which date the file has been created what was the last modification date and number of other things although no process is using that file that file is passively saved inside the hard disk okay so if a file is having any existence inside the file system that file is having associated inode number right so file is having inode number inode is the you can say abbreviation for indexed node so we will discuss later on but out of the n number of files those are already created inside the file system let's say you have written a program and in that program you have tried to open let's say a.txt file in any of the mode maybe read mode so rd only or whatever the mode you are having you pass here now when you try to open this the system allocate another number that is considered as file descriptor right so this open system call allocates one number that is non negative and that is the file descriptor so all the open files can be recognized by the unique number that is file descriptor and each and every file whether it is opened or closed or whatever passively stored that will be having an associated inode number right both are non negative integers only okay so when a file is opened the operating system returns a file descriptor as i have already told you like open system call does the same thing it can be used or file descriptor can be used to read from a file so let's say you want to use read system call or write system call or write or l seek system call we will discuss l seek after you understand this file descriptor and inode concept so n number of or maybe close or open kind of thing so if you want to use close system call also it will treat or refer a file by using the file descriptor so in case you want to read or write you need to know the file descriptor of the file then file descriptor serves as a reference to the file which is opened and we can use file descriptor in a number of io related system calls like read write kind of system calls okay and each process has some set of file descriptors so 
each and every process open some file either in reading mode or writing mode so each and every process will have some number of file descriptors because each and every process will open some number of files in the system right file descriptors start allocating from 0 1 2 and so on so you must be familiar with or aware about file descriptor 0 is allocated to input device that is let's say keyboard so 0 is related to keyboard in short i am writing kbd one is allocated to you can say your terminal or a screen or monitor right so in short i am writing scr and two file descriptors allocated to the standard error file so i am writing std er let's say in short so these three file descriptors when you initiate any process every process will be having these three file descriptors okay but after opening these three if file opens any other any other file then another file descriptor will also be allocated and that process can can access that right so this is file descriptor i'll demonstrate you how the file descriptor works so let's see it okay so let's check it if you want to check the file descriptor of any of the process so let's say this this black screen or bash it is also being managed or hold by one of the process so if you want to check the process id of your terminal you can print a variable you can say double dollar so if you print double dollar it will return you the process id of this terminal or bash right so 3161 is the process id of this bash now there is very important directory inside the root that is proc directory so if you run ls and root inside root there is a proc directory this proc directory contains the virtual file system of every each and every process those are initiated or running inside the system so these numbers those are displaying in blue color here 14 or these numbers these are reflecting the process ids so if your bash is having 3161 there must be one process id with that which we can see right so if you want to check what are these numbers you can check the proc directory and you can use hyphen l option so it will list out what are these these are actually directories the very first character you can see as directory few of the files are also there and few soft links are also there okay so let's look at if I am having the process ID of my bash like 3161, I want to check whether a directory of this process is available inside proc or not. You can check inside root, there is proc. And if I say 3161 and I want to check, let's say hyphen L, I am typing here. So it is displaying the content of that directory. Okay. So this directory 3161 is created inside the system and it is having n number of other directories so if you scroll this particular output you will see there is a directory called fd inside this so there is a directory called fd you can see it here fd is here fd means file descriptor so let's check the directory so what i'm checking is i'm going inside this directory and inside this directory there is a directory called fd so let's check it fd directory is having three numbers so if i don't put this l symbol here you check it there are three or four files opened 0 1 2 as i have already told you 0 means keyboard file 1 means screen 2 means standard error file but apart from these three there is another file this process is using that file descriptor is 255 and these files actually these are nothing uh, these number are associated to some device or you can say virtual terminals so debpts00 later on i will elaborate you need not to uh, get confused what is this debpts these are the virtual terminals okay there is a master slave concept related to that we will talk later once you become the comfortable with linux environment okay so you just try to understand what is a file descriptor when you open any file using open system call it returns a number like this 
okay and when you want to perform any read or write operation the system will prefer that number to interact with that file only so i hope with this this, this description will help you to understand the nature of file descriptor now let's discuss a bit about inode number okay so what is an inode number as i have already told you whenever we create a file inside the system every file will get an associated number that is non negative integer that we consider index node number or i node number so what is this it is a kind of data structure i node number or index node it contains the data structure and in that data structure all the information like the types of the file whether file is open in a particular mode or not who is the owner of the file time access or there are different time stamps will also be available in this so it is a data structure only i node is index node it is like a data structure which stores the information about the file in unix kind of system each file or directory has a unique i node number that i told you right and system identifies the file with the help of i node number if file is not open by any of the process then i node number will play the role in the identification of the process once a file is opened by any of the process then file descriptor will come into the picture then the i node number contains information such as file types owner so many important informations are stored here like file type owner of the file owner means the user who has created the file then the permissions who is having read permission who do not have read or write permission kind of thing then there are different time stamps like access time modification time or last updation or change time and the location of the file etc there are multiple other informations are also available in the file but remember one thing i node of a file doesn't contain the file name so inside i node file name is not available apart from the file name every information is available okay the i node number is used by the file system to locate i node and retrieve the information about the file or directory so i node number will work as an index system will prefer that index go to the i node table and because there is a data structure it stores a number of information so any information can be fetched right when a file is accessed file name is translated into the corresponding i node number so once you open a file so after opening a file like when we use open system call we pass a file name but once the file is open then we don't use the file name we start using the file descriptor right so system refers file with i node value rather than the file name okay because names can be replicated i node number doesn't get replicated i node number plays a crucial role in the file system it has the ability to locate and manage the file efficiently right so please do remember these two and if you want to check how i node number you can see so just just check it okay so if you want to check the i node number of any file let me clear this whether i am having a file let's say a.out is one of the file i want to check the i node of this a.out so i can use ls hyphen i option and let's say a.out i am typing now it will it will return you the i node number of that file and the file name so this is the i node number of this file a dot out which has been created by gcc right if you want to check the i node number of all these files along with i i can set l option so it will return the i node of okay so if you want to check for all do not specify the file name it will return all the i node number of associated to either the file or directory is there so every file inside the system will have an associated i node number and if you want to check the i node number you can use hyphen i option in the ls command right so i am just closing this in next session we will be writing the code by using lc system call okay remember the file descriptor see you in the next session thank you everybody for connecting